action. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna nice. Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Okay, Hare. so tell us about all of that. How many times a day do you do that over and over? Generally, devotees chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra uh, 1,000. Um, 1,728 times daily and it takes about two hours and we try to do it during the Brahma Muhurta period which is the two hours between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. How do you count? How do you keep track? Like on a rosary bead type thing. Uh, it's not called rosary bead but it's basically a rosary beads. 1,700 of them? Yep, 1,728 times daily. Yep. Dude, that's kind of I don't know what to say about that it takes it takes uh, you so know, it's a meditational thing for sure that's right yeah and we do it in the morning we try to because there's not as much nonsense going on from 5 to 7 a.m. after you finish counting the 1700 plus beads do you feel good uh, you feel like you're in a different world is it because you're just like glad that you're done or because of something else no, you don't have to stop there. That's just the like the requirement if you're an initiated Hare Krishna person. Uh, but generally, we try to just chant all day long. But also, chanting means doing service, like watching, washing the pots in the kitchen, or cleaning the floor, or distributing Krishna's books. So all of these activities are considered chanting, and we just string them along 24 hours a day. And we go into trance, samadhi, meditation, so that we're not part of this material world. Cool. Have yeah. you ever seen Krishna Das? Krishna Das, yeah, I know Krishna Das. He invited me to his show at the Orange Peel about four years ago. I saw Krishna Das 18 years ago. Oh, okay. At the Smiley Building in Durango, Colorado. Oh, okay, well, that's a that's a um, fitting name for for that kind of event, the Smiling Building. <laughs> Smiley. Smiley Building. Yeah. Anyway, so tell us your nutshell uh, thoughts about being a Krishna. Nutshell thoughts. Um, how long? I've been 23 years a devotee. I joined when I was 21 years old and I was a brahmachari monk in the ashram for many years and the last 15 years I've been a traveling missionary monk and distributing uh, Hare Krishna literature. These books here. I've seen that one. Easy, Easy Journey, journey to, to Other, other planets, planets, Path like, of Perfection. Like this little book it was gifted to me at the 2003 Rainbow Gathering in Utah in the Uinta Mountains on my birthday. <laughs> well, that's a wonderful gift you got there. So, um, let's see, have you been to India? I've been to India twice. And did you go to that place where the Beatles went? I did not go to Hrishikesh because Hrishikesh is more for the Mayavadi philosophers, the ones that only have half of the philosophy. A Chintya Beta Beta Tattva philosophy means simultaneously one and different. So a lot of the yogis, they focus on the oneness, but they don't focus on the difference. And there's some people that just focus on the difference, but they don't focus on the oneness. But the Hare Krishna philosophy is called a Chintya Beta Beta Tattva, and it's simultaneously focusing on the oneness and the difference. Uh -huh. What do you think is the most attractive thing about the Krishna religion that you gravitate towards? I like being protected by Krishna personally and the more service you render to Krishna, the more he takes the initiative to give you personal protection and care and love. Is it anything similar to like people say they're letting go and let God or like they trust in Jesus? Yeah, yeah, the underlying idea is the same. And then the religions, they just put an external twist on it that makes it all look different. But we're just looking for the essence. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that is so cool that you helped me with this video. Hare Krishna, thank you world. Be well. Hare Krishna.